Okay, hi. Welcome back to the Lam Rim. And we're on episode three. And we're calling this episode the same name as the whole Lam Rim, which is uh, Love in the Time of the Virus. Or did we say times? Love in the Time of the Virus. Yeah, okay. And uh, we're going to start here in the Tibetan. Changshar Sangye Wangchu Gyabo Shingna. This means a paradise, and the word for paradise in Sanskrit is kshetra, and in Tibetan it's shing. And uh, it means, uh, you know, like a beautiful place where everything is perfect. Uh, I imagine they're playing rock and roll there all day long. And there's a special one that's supposed to be located. Changshar means uh, in the northeast of the universe. So nobody knows where that is exactly. Uh, but there's a tradition uh, to say it's in the northeast. Amitabha's paradise, for example, is, is said to be in the western direction. So in the northeast, there's supposed to be a, a Buddha paradise. And the Buddha, who's the boss there, is called uh, Wangchu Gyalpo, which means the king of kings or king, king, of all the, king of all the extremely powerful beings. Okay, And uh, in... In that Buddha paradise, everything's going well. You know, it's like everything is good. There's no problems. Everything is, is nice. It's especially nice. Like it's supposed to be one of the five-star uh, Buddha paradises. And then uh, they say people there, of course, they, they, they treat other people nice. You know, they're nice to other people. So they are what we call... Uh, morality, they are keeping it, sutram, they are keeping it well, they are treating other people sweetly, okay? And if you sit in that Buddha paradise and you treat other people like really nice for millions and millions of years, uh, uh, compared to that, if you come to Mije Jikten, and this is a very unusual word, Mije Jikten, and it's, it's very confusing. Uh, it has confused many people in history, but uh, it's a word for our world, uh, which is called uh, Jambu Dvipa. The Zambu continent uh, is our world. So it just means here on our planet. Mi J means not afraid, and Jikten means uh, loka. It means world. And people ask in the ancient books, why is the world where people are not afraid? Why is that a nickname for this planet Earth? And the traditional explanation of this word is that people here are not afraid to study the Dharma. Like we have a really good mix of, you know, stability and chaos in our world. So people are, you know, they're happy to study the Dharma. They're not afraid. Mije. They're not afraid to study the Dharma. You can come to Tumba Shakya Tupa Tumba Dir. Uh, here in the teachings, you know, the teaching world of Shakyamuni, uh, the, our Buddha. I like to call him our Buddha. Tsutum Ninchik Lasua. If you keep, if you're nice to other people in this crazy mixed up world for just one day, then it's better seeds, it's more powerful seeds than sitting in that five star Buddha paradise and being nice to other people, okay? Why? Because this world is a place, a mixture of, of, of goodness and chaos, you know? And especially we're seeing it now uh, in the times of the virus, you know, the virus is spreading. And you can feel people are on edge, you know? People, people nowadays, they're on edge, and, and things, it feels like uh, things could happen suddenly. People have been... I don't know, people in America, we were locked up. We've never been locked up, and we don't like to be locked up. And, uh, and actually, people don't like to listen to be told what to do. And then we were told to stay in our houses. And, and you could feel uh, the tension uh, growing uh, in this big country, in this whole country. And even animals, uh, even animals were looking uncomfortable. And I think they were picking up on the emotions of the virus days. 
and the emotions of the humans. And I think it's very interesting that the animals, I guess they haven't gotten this virus, you know, <laughs> like, uh, so it must be strange for them. Uh, all the humans are nervous and edgy and they, it feels like they could explode at any moment. And then all the animals are just picking up on these feelings and they don't know what it is. But when the times get bad in this world, you know, when there's a war, when there's tension between countries, uh, when people are angry at being locked up, and then it breaks out uh, in this picture, you can see, uh, you know, rioting, pictures of rioting, people throwing things at the police, fires being set. You know, in, in these times, when things are hard, and we all feel frightened, and we all feel nervous, and, and we all feel kind of depressed sometimes, then... If you're nice to another person during this time, you get a lot more karma added to your bank account. You get a lot more good seats added to your bank account. That's what this section is talking about, okay? Uh, to keep your morality, to be kind to other people, to share what you have when things are crazy, then that's the sign of a real practitioner. That's the sign of a really good person, okay? So they say uh, the world goes through these huge cycles. And that's the subject of a book called the Abhidharma Kosha. In the third chapter, they describe amazing descriptions of, of the world, you know, amazing descriptions of things. And strange things happen, like humans come here from another planet and then they live here for millions and millions of years. And then slowly, things get worse and worse and worse. Uh, people are more violent. Uh, people are, aren't so nice to each other. And then finally, there's a, a nuclear war, the, the third chapter of the Abhidharma, which is about two and a half thousand years old, the, the, tech, the subject. Uh, it talks about a fire which covers the whole earth. And... Uh, Strangely, there are some people uh, off on a, on a vacation in the mountains. Uh, you know, they went to climb a mountain somewhere, and they don't get burned up. And, but they suddenly get this realization from the virus, right? They think, wow, maybe we've been hurting this planet. You know, maybe we've been hurting the other creatures on this planet. Maybe this whole uh, nuclear war or this virus is a karma because we have hurt the planet and we have hurt uh, the other beings on this planet. We have taken advantage of them. We have treated them like slaves. We have killed them whenever we wanted space for ourselves. And, and then maybe uh, a disease comes from those animals to us, you see? So there is a theme like that uh, in the Abhidharma Kosha. And then those people, make a decision to change their lifestyle. Uh, they become more ecological. Uh, they stop using so much of the world's resources. They respect uh, other life forms' uh, needs for space and, and prosperity. And then slowly the karma changes of the planet. And so, and then it goes through these huge cycles. It goes through like 60 cycles like that. And that's called a great Kalpa, a great eon. So in the early part of the, of the eons are good times. People who survived the Holocaust, they, they are nice to each other for a while, okay? So those people uh, discover the Ten Good Deeds, and it is, it is traditionally said that they keep them very carefully, and they observe the Ten Good Deeds very carefully. Then uh, time goes on, and you reach what we call the, the bottom of the barrel uh, times. And we're actually very close to that bottom of the barrel right now. According to Abhidharma, uh, we are close to the, the worst times in the world right now. And uh, so if during this time people are nice to each other and people keep their vows, okay, and here it says, Teng Sang Lapa Na Chik Sung or Pen Yun Che. So let's say you, you don't uh, get the, even the whole 10 list. Uh, you know, you don't get the list of 10 
good deeds. Someone teaches you the first one, and then they, they have to go. And, but if you, if you just keep one of the 10 good deeds in, this, in these hard times, then it's better than those people at the beginning of time, like Adam and Eve, who are already innocent and already nice. Uh, to keep, to be nice to other people when times are hard, when economy is bad, and when there's a lot of confusion, when there's a lot of danger, illness, then to keep just one of the Buddhist rules is more powerful than keeping all of them for, for a long time, for millions of years, okay? Penyin che wa sun be, sangye mamba kapa che wa chupa de, kyang de lakna. It's also better than making offerings to Buddhas uh, for millions of years, is to keep your patience uh, when things are hard, when there's a lot of confusion, when people are divided, uh, when there's a lot of danger with the virus. To, to be the calm one, to be the one who shares, to be the one who smiles, uh, when things are really crazy, uh, then that's extremely powerful karma. Okay, That's what they're talking about. Mm -hmm. Why are we talking about being nice to other people? We're talking about how to reach nirvana. It, don't forget where we are in the text. We're talking about how to reach nirvana. Sutim Demba Sangye Chungdang Te. Then there's a famous uh, sutra, and it's called the Sutra uh, where we honor the ethical way of life, a good, a good, being a good person. The sutra called, It's Cool to Be a Good Person. There's a sutra like that, and it has a famous line in it. It's called Sutim Demba Sangye Jungdang Te. And there's two ways to read this line. You can say, if a person is nice to other people, it's as if a Buddha has come to this planet and we have met the Buddha. So if you're a person who shares what you have in these difficult times, and if you're a person who is patient with people who are afraid or, or even violent in these difficult times, if you're the person who stays cool, then we can say the Buddha is walking on this planet. We have met the Buddha again. Then some people read this line as meaning uh, when the Buddha comes back to this planet, you will have the seeds to meet them. And I think you can read it either way. Okay, So that's the famous line from that sutra. And the monks and nuns, uh, wherever they live, whatever country they live in, twice a month, they're supposed to get together on the full moon and the new moon. And they're supposed to, you know, sit down in a little group. And, you know, everyone has, I don't know, they have a green drink. They're all sitting having a green drink. And the, the leader says, anybody have anything they want to say? And then somebody will say, yeah, I, I got something. Well, what? Well, you know, actually I cheated on my taxes a little bit. Uh, last week, the taxes were due. You know, I was late. I wrote a letter. Uh, I told the tax people my dog ate the paper. And, you know, uh, then they made confessions to each other. And it was a very sweet, ancient requirement of monks and nuns. And I'm afraid nowadays, I'm sad to say, uh, they just recite the, ver the words. You know, and then you just recite it and you go home. Uh, but the old system, which is very sweet for Dharma people, and if you're in a small Dharma group, or you're in your Lam Rim Dharma group, then tell each other when you make a mistake. It cleans it right away. You know, usually we work harder to hide our bad habits than we do to stop them. Uh, but if you just say, look, I have a bad habit, I want everybody to know, and I'm working on it. You know, I got a COVID tummy right now, and last night I ate half a haagen ice cream. I'm telling the truth, okay? So confess, be honest, okay? All right, so at the confession, nowadays, uh, the, the leader of the confession, who's usually the abbot of the monastery, they will stand up and recite these holy sutras about keeping your vows. So here it says, uh, So when the leader of the 
of the confession group, which is called Sojo, when they get up to recite the sutra, Do Dumbapo, they are not, it's not like they're a kid in the monastery who was assigned an examination topic where they had to recite the sutra, okay? Because that's a very common occurrence in the monastery that the kids have to memorize a sutra that the teacher gave them, and they sit there shaking and trying to recite the sutra by heart. Look, when the abbot of the whole monastery gets up and he recites this holy words, a person who treats other people nice, when you meet them, it's like meeting the Buddha. When he recites it, don't sit there and think he's some kid who's taking an examination. He's not. And uh, don't think also Trang Sok. Trang Sok means uh, when you recite a scripture over and over to get some kind of extra seats, you know, like, like you take a rosary and you, re you decide you're going to recite the Heart Sutra 21 times, which we do in the monastery, you know. And so don't think the guy is trying to, you know, pile up on his rosary these, these Vinaya Sutras, these sutras about how to be nice to people. And don't think he's taking an exam because he's not, because he's already the abbot. By the way, those of you who are learning Tibetan, and we talked about it yesterday, me and Seiji and and Tim, uh, to take an exam in English, in American English, means you are the kid and you are taking the exam from the teacher. Uh, but in Tibetan, it's the opposite. The exam is extracted by the teacher. <laughs> the teacher takes the exam from the student, okay? So don't get confused by the Tibetan here. Uh, so that abbot's not, he's not up there. It's not a game, you know, he's not a kid. He's the abbot of the monastery. He's reciting those words. Chen, chenba sok. Chenba sok. He's trying to remind you of how precious it is to be a nice person, especially when it's hard times. Like right now, in the times of the virus, you know, when, when people recite this line, look, when a person is nice to other people, we can say that person is a Buddha walking on this planet. And when you hear them, when you see them share their toilet paper or you see them uh, share their money when the economy gets bad, uh, when you see them donating money, I, I have some friends right now, this week they are making major donations. I'm like, wow, you guys are, it's cool. It's like I met a Buddha, you know. Everyone else is afraid. Everyone else is holding their money. And these people are like, do you need money? Do you need money? Okay. So... Let's go like that, even in time of virus. Now, you know, I enjoy going into John Brady's database. And thank you guys, all you gold clubs and J clubs and club clubs around the world who are collecting donations. It's amazing. What you're doing is amazing. And even today, we had a, 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 a what do you call it? yoga studies institute. And we were studying some deep, deep, deep ideas about the five envelopes, right? The five koshas. In, uh, and we had John Brady's database. So it's such a cool thing. John Brady to work on that for 33 years, that's unbelievable. Uh, so maybe, maybe that Buddha's been walking around for 33 years. Okay, I wanted to recite to you the poetry uh, from that sutra, because I think it's beautiful. Okay, here we go. And uh, let's just uh, let's just read that. Let's just translate that that poetry. Okay, Dechirtumbe Tsutum Rangakshe. The Buddha says, being nice to people is cool. You are hip. You are you are like uh, what's that thing? What's the movie? They all run around in black clothes and they're all very hip. Uh, the Matrix. Okay, you are hip like the Matrix. Uh, 
Okay, the Buddha said that. Sutum Dhamma Sangha Jungante. If you if you're nice to other people, it's like I get to meet another Buddha. Sutum Dhamma Gyan and Kunki Chop. Don't worry about wearing a Cartier watch or a Tiffany necklace. If you have, if you're treating other people nice, that's the most beautiful jewelry you can wear. Okay. Sutum Dham Sutum Jower Ti Don Chupayin. When you are nice to other people, then you are putting on Chanel number five. You know, then you really smell good. You know, they say that uh, holy beings can smell a special smell when you're being nice to other people. It smells like great cologne or something like that. Okay. Certain demagawa kungine. Everyone enjoys a person who is nice to other people. Certain dembadunga suwachu. Uh, being nice to other people is like cold lemonade on a hot summer day. Okay, that's nice. Certain dembaji dengungi to everyone talks about how cool people are when they are nice to other people. Certain taki doa dambanu. Certain taki doa dambanu. Doa dambanu. These are praised as the coolest people around. Jita, and there's a there's an error in the uh, kangyu, so we fixed it. Jita duduk luchen napoyang poisonous snakes, which we have a lot around here. Other kinds of problems, they can't touch a person who's being nice to other people. People keep asking me, "Oh, Geshla, what's the karma that I shouldn't get the virus?" You know, then just be nice to other people, just serve other people, share what you have with other people. The viruses don't like those kind of people, and they will avoid you. Okay. Uh, and then, by the way, the sutra goes into saying uh, someone who's nice to other people is like a light in the world. And we already talked about that part of the sutra. <coughs> okay. Tele jungwa shen samte. So think about it. Kelang, kelang be che san non su shen sung. Keep your commitments, you know. Keep your keep the commitments you have. Tembe ning bo ring do sel je shok. Then there's a very, there's a lot of prayers in Buddhism. There's a lot of Lamrim prayers. And they end this way. May I be the person who makes the teaching shine in the world. May I be the person who keeps these teachings shining and and like the sun in this world. May I be the person who keeps these teachings shining like the sun in this world, okay? And there's another version of that called Losan Demba Gegyo Chik. Losan Gyawe Demba Gegyo Chik. May the teachings of Tsongkhapa, the Buddha Tsongkhapa, uh, may they spread in this world, okay? It's a very, very famous prayer, you know. May, be, may I be the person to spread these teachings in the world. May may the teachings spread in the world. Yang Toma Ranakigila Gebashi Gu. And we see here in the picture, uh, I don't know, fingers making a heart. Okay. And 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 what the Lama said in the Lam Rim, he said, Come on, you guys, you know, you sit here in the monastery, and every day you recite these prayers. And the last line of the prayer is always, may, the, may I help the light of the Buddhist teachings spread in the world, you know. May, may I take the Dharma to every country in the world. May I be the supreme spreader of the Dharma in all countries, among all people. May I be the one who, who spreads it in the world. And then the Lama said, you know the best way to do that? And everybody's like, what? And he says, Spread it here. Okay, it's very funny. He says, oh, oh, you want to spread the Dharma in the whole world? Yeah. Oh, you want to be the person, you know, who teaches everybody in the whole world the Dharma? Yeah. Oh, you want to be this light that, that shines like the sun in the whole world? Yeah, yeah, that's me. I want to be that. Okay, well, 
how about you start here and spread it like two inches here, okay? And then, then you, then we can say you're a Dharma spreader, you know? Then we can say you're spreading the Dharma in the world. So spread it in your heart, especially in these difficult times when, when things are so hard. Uh, everyone's afraid. It's not just some people. Everyone's afraid. This virus is amazing, Buddhist practice, because it doesn't matter how much money you have. It doesn't matter where you live. It doesn't matter how powerful you are. It doesn't matter how many muscles you have. Uh, this virus is dangerous for everybody. So we can get afraid and we, we, we can lose our morality. We can, we can start to cheat people or, or not share things or, or steal toilet paper. Or, you know, we can start to throw things at people, rioting, breaking stores. You know, <laughs> I just bought a small cafe. I worked really, really hard to fix it up. And I'm just watching on TV where people smash these little people's stores. And I'm like, oh, man, that's so dumb, you know? I mean, you should smash, smash something rich people, you know? These little guys tried so hard to build their little store, you know? And so, uh, by the way, I'm not saying you should, but I'm just saying... Uh, Resist this fear and resist this temptation to act crazy or to act, to act in a way that hurts other people. A, a real Buddhist person during the time of the virus should become more peaceful, more moral, more kind, more generous than they were before. This is the time to do that. Okay, uh, let's see in the next episode uh, how we can do that. Thank you.